Hello, Phone Dork here. I'm sure there are a lot of you out there who are asking the question of whether you can get a better picture quality on your Sega Genesis. We know there is a composite, which is just one step above RF since it divides the video from the stereo. Then there are some of you out there who spend hundreds of dollars getting your Sega modded for S video. The truth is, all Segas, including Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, 1, 2, CDX, Sega Saturn, and Dreamcast, have RGB video. And RGB video is far superior than S video. And this signal can be converted to component 480i on your flat screen TV. I'm going to show you how to do this with no mods. First thing I'm going to show you is with my CDX. It can be done with other Sega Genesis, including the Model 1 and 2, not the Model 3, though. As you can see, it's a normal CDX. It has a CD drive. There's a CD in it, of course. Uh, nothing big deal. I can spin it. Nothing different than any normal CDX. Cartridge port. In the back is, of course, the power port, and that's it. And here is my video port, which I'm going to draw the RGB signal from. On the side here is the stereo where I can draw the sound separately if I wanted to but that's on the CDX and the Model 1. The first thing you need is a SCART cable as you can see here. Uh, SCART cables are popular in the UK or in the European countries not here in the US but they've been around since the 80s or at least the 80, late 80s and uh, of course we don't have the benefit of having it since it's not available in the US but uh, I will show you an adapter that will ch convert this RGB SCART cable into component okay let's check out the CSY2100 this is the adapter that you'll need to convert the RGB component or the RGB SCART into component RGB which is found here in the states. You can find this on eBay between $65 to $100. You might be able to find it online, but my I found uh, that eBay had the best price for me. Also, if you look at this, you can see that there is no port for stereo, so you're going to need an additional adapter to get the stereo sound from this device. Okay, um, this is the device that I use to get the stereo sound out from the SCART. Uh, if you look at this, it is a th uh, three-way. You can plug three devices in this or three SCART devices into it. And it has the white and red uh, stereo out as well as the uh, AV. But well, I use the AV when you can use the component. Anyway, you can, there's different variations of this, but this is the one that I use. You can check for other ones if you want. Here's your component out. Here's your SCART in. This is the CSY2100. It does not have the stereo ports in it. You'll have to use the other device. Uh, if you have a Model 1, you don't have to worry about the other device because you can pull stereo sound out from the side as well as a CDX. But if you have a Model 2, you're going to need this. This one has three ports. Got A, B, and C. You can hook up three SCART devices to this and it has your stereo output and even an AV output. I don't know why you would use it, but whatever. It's there. Uh, there's other versions of this that you can use. Alright, let's hook this bitch up. from the output of the splitter and into the back of your CSY21 just like this and there it goes now just plug your component cable into the RGB adapter then plug the output to the TV set Now take your stereo cables and plug it into the output of the splitter or the SCART splitter. 
so that you can get your stereo sound since the uh, CSY2100 doesn't give you the sound. When you're finished, it uh, should pretty much look craptacular just like this. And here we are, a 480i component on my Sega Genesis. Um, there is absolutely no color bleed whatsoever, no blurs or nothing else. Uh, this video doesn't even come close. Um, it also works on my Sega Saturn, as you, I told you, but you have to have that splitter to get the stereo sound out of it. And this is the phone door. Thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.